Hi, we'll be talking about one of the most important topics in the uh, channel today, and that is cybersecurity. Uh, with me is Mike McGlynn, Vice President of Security Products for WWT. Hi, Mike. Hey, nice to meet you. Great. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. A couple of things, Mike, that we have seen in our research uh, that we want to talk about today. The first is a general trend um, and demand in the marketplace from customers to integrate disparate, all the new and disparate technologies that are out there. What are you doing at WWT in terms of integrating those technologies into a comprehensive solution for your customer? Yeah, so at WWT, we've really had a huge focus on architectural solutions. Uh, one of the things that we do is we leverage what we call our reference architecture. So we've actually developed uh, a security reference architecture that we use as a basis mm -hmm. to assess our customers' environments. So we're able to look at an environment and kind of align that against what a typical reference architecture might look like and then use that to help build uh, an architecture for our customers. That's great. How about the services component? Mm -hmm. um, is it a big, bigger and a growing part of your business? Absolutely. So what we're finding now is the services conversations are elevating. Um, how do I gain more efficiencies with the staff that I have? Right? There's a shortage of skilled experts in the marketplace. Uh, how do I bring in tools like security orchestration and optimization tools, bring more efficiencies around the operations of security versus just understanding the technology? That's great. A second topic, which is another trend that we see as well, which is a consolidation across all of those vendors providing those, those different technologies. How are you adapting the practice area to um, take advantage of it yep. for your customers? Yeah, so uh, I, I think again, there's sort of two veins here. One is the market and what the market's providing and then what customers are adopting. Uh, we're seeing customers definitely consolidating their, their technology space, right? So, you know, you hear the horror stories, customers have, you know, 50, 60 different technology tools that they brought in. I think, you know, just based on expense, you know, CapEx and OpEx of operating that kind of environment, customers are definitely leaning toward consolidation. Unfortunately, I don't think the market has responded in the same way. What we're seeing is more and more startups and new technologies that are coming out of the marketplace that are more point solutions, which is bringing a level of complexity and confusion to our customers. And again, in terms of the value that we bring, it's to help those customers navigate through that complexity to identify the right tools that align with what their, their business outcomes are. Um, let's talk a little bit about your relationship with Cisco. Mm -hmm. um, beyond the technology itself, can you comment about how their enablement and engagement and you know, work in the field complements and helps you grow your practice? Sure, so we have a, a very long and, and strong relationship with Cisco. Uh, our company is one of the largest Cisco providers in North America and the world. Uh, so, so we have, again, that strong relationship from executive level, CEO level, all the way down to the engineering level in the business units. So I think it's given us a lot of uh, synergy in terms of how we go to market with Cisco. Particularly in security, we've leveraged 26 years of our partnership with Worldwide and Cisco to bring security to market with Cisco. That's great. That's a great story. Mike, thanks very much for spending the time with us. This is Thank good you. information. And Thank you. Hope you have a great week.